So they say when a man finds a woman that he really wants, there's nothing that can stop him from going after her. Now, I don't know about all that, but what I do know is there are some signs that can tell you that this guy is ready for a relationship and wants a relationship with you. My name is Stefan Laboustier, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks, back with another dating and relationship advice video for women today. And like I said, we're going to be talking about the seven signs he's ready for a relationship. Now, before we begin, as always, be sure to like this video, share it, subscribe to this channel, and listen, comment below as always. Let me know what you think is a sign he's ready to be in a relationship and more specifically, ready to be in a relationship with you. That's what you really want to know. But also before we begin, this video has been brought to you by The Man God Has For You. Get your copy today. This book is a best-selling book. I'm not just saying that. It's literally best-selling. has, I don't know, three, 4,000 reviews on Amazon by now. You can also get it on my store, Stefan Speak Shop. But just click the link in the description and in the comments section or go to themanguyhasforyou.com. Women everywhere are calling this book a blessing to read. All right. So anyways, like I said, it's about he's ready for a relationship. Now, let me just say this real quick. There's going to be something on this list I say, or maybe all the things on the list I say, and one of y'all going to be like, well, I've seen a man do those things and he still didn't want a relationship. I got an answer for that at the very end of the video. So watch to the end to make sure you gain clarity on that specific issue. But typically, if, he, if these signs apply, then yes, he is ready and desires a relationship. So let's get to it. Sign number one, he's ready for a relationship. Consistent communication. Listen, if you were to survey women who are dating... One of the biggest complaints they get or they give is that men and their lack of communication, men and their lack of consistency in communication. And the reality is that this is not just a man thing. This is a he's not that serious thing. This is a he's got too much other stuff going on and he's not really ready to make time for you in a relationship thing. And so when he is willing to communicate consistently, all right, and keep up with you. And, and let me just throw the caveat that he also understands what your desired level of communication is because that needs to be understood, all right? But when he's willing to embrace your desired level of communication and be consistent and he wants to hear from you, he wants to talk to you, this is a very good sign he wants a serious relationship because, again, most men, if they don't want anything serious, they're going to temper down the communication part. They're going to create some kind of distance. They're going to make sure it, they, they can manage it a little bit better because they don't want things to get too close. And, and again, they're not trying to give too much time and energy right now. That is what typically is going to happen. So when he's willing to give that communication consistently, that's a very good sign. Which brings me to the second sign he's ready for a relationship. He makes time for you. Plain and simple. Again, I've said many times before, more than a man's money, his time is of great value. And his time says a lot about his interest in you. Now, granted, money can show value in a woman depending on how much he has and how much he has to spend. Because when he's willing to give you his resources of any kind, that does show he's serious about you, all right? But time is a big deal. Time is typically a big deal. And so for a man who's willing to make time for you, all right? Not just he has you at his convenience, not only when it works for you, but even in moments where, where you want to see him and he's willing to move some things around to accommodate you, when he's willing to compromise so he can spend time with you, when he's willing to make sure you're getting enough quality time to even be happy with him, when he's willing to work with you in that regard. Now, again, I always have to throw in these little caveats. Some men are generally busy, all right? I would still argue that even the busy man makes time for the woman he's serious about, all right? But there is a level of compromise with a very ambitious, driven man who has a lot going on versus the man who has nothing going on for himself, so he has all the time in the world to give you, all right? So do take that into consideration. But the premise of all this is still that he makes time. So even the busy man 
If he's serious about a woman, makes time. He tries to create it. He tries to make adjustments because he wants to once see this woman and he wants to make her feel good, show her attention, things of that nature. So bottom line, when he makes time for you, that is a very good sign he is ready for a relationship. Third on the list of he's ready for a relationship, he wants you to meet his friends and family. Now, real quick, I know already some of y'all, this is, this is one of the ones where I know some of y'all like, well, I met his people, all right, and he was still playing games. He still wasn't serious. The whole family was in on the game with, with him, all right, and was setting you up. I know. I done heard all the horror stories, all right? But, again, typically, in most situations, when a man wants to introduce a woman to friends and family, is because he sees a relationship or at least a strong potential of a relationship in the future with this woman. He's already said to himself, I can see myself or her, or I, I, I believe there's a really good chance, and now I either want my friends and family to see who I'm already into, or I want to get that extra layer of approval and make sure everyone loves her, and now I can move forward with this. One way or another, it is typically a great sign that he wants you to he wants to bring you around friends and family. He's not hiding you. You're not a secret. It, it's, a, it's an open thing that you are the woman that he is courting, getting to know, trying to build a relationship with. So definitely be mindful of that. Again, none of these signs are 100 percent home runs, except the last one I'm gonna give you on the list. But Again, very good indicators, very strong indicators. This is typically the behavior of men who are serious about trying to be with you. Number four, the fourth reason why, or the fourth reason he's ready to be in a relationship with you is he's willing to listen to your feelings, all right? So I've said many times before, one of the greatest indicators that a man is serious about you is not in what he does on his own. It's not him figuring out what you want and desire. It's in how he handles your expressing of feelings and concerns. Because men who are not serious about you are going to be very dismissive. They're going to make excuses. They're going to brush it off. They're going to deflect. They're going to turn the tables on you. All of it's going to lead to your needs not being met and the issue not being resolved. However, the man who's serious about you wants to resolve the issue. I always say a man who loves you wants to bring you peace, all right, and clarity, whereas the other guys want to bring you chaos and confusion. So this man is going to be willing to listen. Even if he's not the greatest at understanding and figuring things out, he's going to be willing to try to get it, try to figure out what's going on here. Tell me how you feel so I can fix this. You know what I'm saying? That's his mentality. And he he's... He's willing to communicate with you, as we mentioned in number one, all right, in order to establish clarity and to resolve the issue. Men who don't want to talk to you don't really want to be with you. That, that's really the bottom line. But when he's willing to talk, that's a great sign because he understands if we're going to have a relationship, we got to be able to talk to each other. So his willingness to listen to your feelings, another huge sign, he is ready for a relationship. Now, before we get into number five, one more reminder, get your copy of The Man God Has For You. Click the first link in the description or in the comments section. You're going to love the book. So now, back to the video. Number five on the list, he talks about his future with you in it. All right? So pay very close attention when you are dating a man and he talks about what's going on in his life three months, six months down the line, whatever. Is he including you or the relationship in that discussion? And, and, and trust me, most of y'all have seen this. Most of y'all have seen or dated men who when they talked and, they, and at some point, future seems to always come up. Like we're always talking about what's going to happen later and what we're doing months from now. And you start to notice that you're not really included in the plans. You're not really being considered in all of this. That is an indicator that, again, he's probably not planning for something serious with you. Bottom line. Or at least he hasn't reached that point, but depending on how far you guys are into the dating process, that's a really bad sign. But again, the guy who is serious, the guy who is ready for a relationship and sees you as the woman he wants to be with, he includes you in that discussion. 
He mentions what you too might be doing. He he just throws it out there. Well, maybe we'll do this, or maybe you know somehow you will get a feeling of okay, he's still thinking about me when he's thinking about his future, and that's very important. And again, if you notice a man who who doesn't do it, who who's talking about his future and you're not included, I would challenge you to bring that up. I would challenge you to say, well, are you considering where we may be at that point in life? Because again, I know. I do believe that typically, again, men are going to include the woman in that discussion, naturally. However, I can see a situation, possibly, where maybe the man is not sure that you want the future with him. He may not know where you stand, and he doesn't want to be like the one that's projecting all this, we're going to be together and all this stuff, when you're not really showing that yourself. So just in case it's a situation where maybe you guys have not gotten on the same page, about what you both truly want, you simply saying, well, listen, what, what are you considering as far as we're concerned? That's a great moment to see where you stand with the man. And if, again, if he backs away from that conversation, if he dances around it, he dismisses it, if he gives you anything other than, yes, I do see you being in my future at that point, then that's a, that's a bad sign, all right? Now we get to number six on the list. And number six is... He is willing to express to you how he feels about you. Listen, men who are ready for relationships are much more open and vulnerable. That's the bottom line, all right? When a man is completely shut down, and, and, and I feel the need to say this right now. If he's very closed off and not open with you and not willing to express his feelings to you, but let's just say he does say he wants a relationship with you, I would still caution you to not move forward with that guy. All right, because he may be quote unquote ready for a relationship with you, but he's clearly not ready for a successful, healthy relationship with you. If he's unwilling or unable to talk and express feelings, that's not a good position to put yourself in. And to have to be with a man where you don't know how he feels about you, where he's not willing to give you that assurance, not just through his actions, but verbally as well, that's a very difficult position to be in. That's a very hurtful position to be in. You talk to any woman who's dealt with that, and she's not happy. So you don't want to get, put yourself in that position to be tortured by this lack of clarity and this lack of understanding, well, how does he really feel about me? Because he won't say anything. So again, if he's unwilling to do it, regardless of whether he's willing to be with you in a relationship or not, I would say don't move forward. But if he is unwilling to do it, well, getting back to the original point, his, the fact that he is willing to be expressive, is willing to tell you how he feels about you, is a good sign that, yes, he is ready for a relationship and ready for one with you. Because we all understand that if we're serious about someone, we should be able to say it to them. We should be able to express to them that we want to be with them. Yes, some people are very damaged and they struggle with being verbal. But again, that's just another sign of, He's not truly ready internally to be in that relationship. So either way, we should not, you shouldn't move forward with him. So his willingness to express his feelings, another sign he's ready for a relationship. And now we get to number seven. And again, as a reminder, I got that answer to the earlier question about what if he does all these things and he still doesn't want a relationship. I'll explain that after number seven. But number seven, which to me is the clearest indicator, all right, is that, well, it's a two-part number seven. One, he will take no issue with you bringing up commitment, and we, he will have no issue saying he wants it. It's really that simple. You know, sometimes we overcomplicate things, and, and I gave you signs because people are always asking for these things, and I, and I want you to be able to see some of the indicators, but at the same time, let's not put ourselves in a position to have to play guessing games. Just talk about it. Because when you bring up commitment to a man who is considering committing to you or who has already decided that he is pretty confident that's what he wants with you or he knows he does, he takes no issue with you bringing it up. When you come across situations where the, the, the discussing of commitment scares a man away is because he was never wanting that with you. He was never serious about you. He was never ready for that with you. So if anything, you served yourself a greater purpose by weeding this man out, getting him out the way so you can move on. So you should never be afraid to discuss these things and just ask, where do we stand? Yeah, I know some of y'all dread asking that question, but listen, again, the man who really cares about you and is serious about you doesn't have a problem with you asking that question. 
What did I say earlier? The man who really cares about you wants to bring you clarity and peace. The other dudes give you confusion and chaos. So when he is willing to talk about it with you, he's showing you, he's trying to provide you with clarity and peace. And again, he will not just be willing to talk about it. He will not just be uh, open to the discussion. Same thing. <laughs> he will be willing to say it. And that's really what it boils down to. So if you want to know, ask. Ask. And let your desires be known. Be willing to be transparent. You can't expect people to be open and transparent with you if you're not going to be open and transparent with them. All right? I think a lot of times we're, we're seeking people to give us truth and clarity and we're not doing the same in return. You have to speak yours. You have to express your desires. You have to let them know where you stand and how you see the relationship. And the man who's on the same page as you will embrace that, will give you reassurance, and you guys will be able to move forward in the direction that you both want to move forward in. Now, as I said, I was going to explain how, yes, are there situations that exist that the man does all of this stuff and he's still playing games? All right, he, he, he's on that, yeah, I, I like you, but I don't want a relationship with you. I don't like you like that, or whatever the case may be. Number one, those, yes, those situations do exist, but that's a minority. As much as you may think it happens more often than whatever, it, it, no, it, it doesn't happen as often as you think. Not that he's doing all of that. Most situations where the man was never that serious, he's not that consistent with all these good actions and then when you finally bring it up, it's like, nah, that typically is not what's going on. There's a lot of red flags along the way, but people ignore them. They overlook them. They make excuses. And now when he says, I don't want a relationship, people want to act all surprised. But if we piece the whole thing together, it's like, okay, this actually makes sense. He was actually showing a lot of behaviors that were consistent with a man who was not serious. But again, in the rare moments where he does it all right and he still doesn't want it, do not let that turn you into this negative person that thinks, I cannot trust any good actions. And again, the notice number seven, because the guy who does all of that but is not really ready for a relationship, he fails number seven. Because when you bring up commitment and when you ask him where you stand, he will shoot you down. He will now reject it. He will show you in that moment. And that's why I say to the end, and that's why I'm saying to you, don't just play the guessing game. Because you can expose people so much quicker by simply directly addressing it. And the quicker we're willing to talk about these things, the quicker we can see where people stand and where we can go with this relationship. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here. And I'll see you there. I want you to have a man who loves you, cherishes you, respects you, and adores you. And I don't want you to settle for anything less. So I'm going to give you the five ways to make sure he meets your needs.